It's joining me right now with her thoughts on it from the Independent Women's Forum, former Congresswoman Nan Hayworth. Good to see you. Trish, great to be with you. Thank you. So he's fired. He's essentially been a bit blackballed out there in the tech community. It's sure very hard to get way. a job, but considering the press he's gotten. Yeah. So now he's suing because, you know, he, he's saying that this was unfair right. for him to be fired for expressing a thought like this. What's your take? Well, what he's he's actually joined another employee, David Guterman and Harmeet Dillon's law firm is representing them. It's a class action suit. It's in the state of California. It's not at the federal level, which allows them tremendous discovery. What they're claiming is that there is systematic discrimination within Google mm -hmm. against uh, people like them. Uh, and in addition to their views, what it's also mean, the fact that like they're them. white and male. They're conservatives uh. expressing certain views and they are white and male. So they are contending and they have the discovery has been fascinating. Uh, if you look, there are documents now online because they filed a 161 page lawsuit, Trish. So there's a lot of discovery, a lot of emails, a lot of company uh, screenshots that express tremendous hostility toward Mr. Demore for uh, what he said and for being basically out of step. But it's, it's what he said. He was out of step. They didn't like his view on that. But is it also, you know, you're saying he's also suing because he, he felt discriminated against because he was white and male. Did that discrimination happen after he said these things or did he just feel that it was a discriminatory environment? I think environment their contention is, yes, that it was a discriminatory environment. And again, it is a class action suit. So this is they're suing on behalf of a class and they've got these two primary plaintiffs. Uh, look, my, my feeling always is employers can hire and fire at will. But the laws, as you know, Trish, have created certain protected classes. And in California, they've also created broad categories of discrimination that facilitate but white men are not lawsuits by employees. Well, their contention is that they've been discriminated against on the basis of gender and race, and therefore they are entitled to sue. Very interesting stuff. We'll be watching it. Thank you so much, Nate.